Direct divine influence in Valheim is surprisingly weak. Even with various figures seen or mentioned in rune stones or just out in the world. Although, the influence seems to have fluctuated in odd ways over time, over the generations of Vikings. Let's talk about right now. The hooded figure we presume to be Odin is very mysterious, doesn't seem to trust us, as it disappears as soon as we approach. Thor crackles in the storm's sky, far overhead, and is uninvolved with any of our personal struggle struggles. He is up there. He is totally uninteractable. Freya, Loki, they are only mentioned only mentioned sometimes and Loki I think is only mentioned twice in runestones and we never see them uh, they're never said to have visited anybody on a runestone they're just there talked about in mythological or lore terms or uh, prayed to in terms of Freya and interestingly enough there's no talk of Tyr at all Despite there being a large presence of, well, Fenris's influence in terms of the Frost Caves, we've had a lot of Fenris lore as of late. And you would think that uh, given the sheer amount of influence that Fenris has had, uh, that we would have something, something of Tyr because of what they were prophesized to do in Ragnarok. They were supposed to fight. And you know, I think that uh, considering the limited influence that we see now, I think that it's the gods and Fenris that fear the Forsaken. And that's why we're here. It seems that many Vikings of past generations have had some sort of existential trouble with remembering their divine quest, their purpose divinely ordained from Odin, given to by the raven, the stones at the start, everybody's memorable spawn and first steps into Valheim, they don't remember it that well at all. Consider this runestone from Astrid that can be found in the mountains. This stone was placed by me, Astrid, in my seventh year in Valheim. At this spot the Allfather spoke to me. I awoke from a deep sleep to find his words scattered around me on the ground, frozen to pebbles by the deep cold. When I warmed them in my hands, they thawed and spoke his message to me, one word after another. Slay the forsaken, chain their heads, I will come. Mind you, Astrid has a Meadows rune stone where she says she will fight the great beast in Odin's name. It seems maybe Odin gave Astrid a message directly for a boost in morale to make sure that she doesn't lose her will to live as, based off of other rune stones in, say, the Black Forest, she could simply just disappear and not respawn after her next death if she does lose her will to keep going. My idea is maybe that those flat stone structures, the nice little stone stacks that you see in the mountains, are what Astrid and her group have made. Uh, it could be that Astrid saw Odin's message on those flat stones, and they stacked them up and placed them all over the mountains as easy access and a reminder for other Vikings to receive Odin's message, should he see them worthy enough for if they have enough uh, existential forgetting of the great quest, which it seems like some of them do, because there are some runestones in the plains where uh, people are saying, hey, Odin, we do this, we fight enemies in Odin's name, we do this in Odin's name, rejoice, and things of that nature, which, like, yeah, we knew that since the beginning, and so did you, probably. So why are they repeating this if 
Vikings aren't existential and wondering about their cause and need a little morale boost. It's very curious. Now, it seems like if this hooded figure that we see was indeed Odin, like pretty much everybody says, like the game files say, although the game files are not a one-to-one -one every single time uh, in terms of name and uh, how they're implemented. Well, feels like he should be talking to us. Maybe sometime in mountains or something. Uh, maybe this hooded figure, if was Odin, uh, he could perhaps remind us, hey, hey, go, go, go do the quest. I'm going to show up at the end. Just make sure you're getting that done. Especially because in the mountains you can do like, once, once you're in the mountains, I mean, you can, you can go straight from Black Forest to mountains. You just take a quick detour into the swamp for some blood bags, get your frost res mead going, and boom, all of a sudden you're you're going from uh, swamp mountain, swamp mountains, and you could just be going back and forth on that mega grind like I do. I love that, personally. So I can see where Odin would want to be like, hey, 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 now, don't, don't you want to kill the Forsaken? You're not... Uh, Dealing with bone mass exactly. Uh, uh, can't you get back to that maybe? And I'm just like, mm, yeah, I'll get to it when I get to it. But it uh, feels like he should be doing that. And yet we don't see it at all. There is this other rune stone. Which also gives more reason for the gods to be more directly involved in Valheim than they currently are. And it says, Look to the sky where mighty Yggdrasil reaches out, called by the Forsaken Ones, to join itself once more with this wayward world. It is a glorious sight, but a dreadful one. For as the great tree bends across the void, its branches strain and crack. Felt in the remaining nine worlds as quaking of the earth, great storms and holy fires. The Forsaken must be slain and balance restored. You know, you would think Odin would do a lot more than have a few minimal, like, weird stalker checkups. Like, oh, I'm looking at you. Nope, I'm over here now. You got too close to me. I'm going to look at you from a distance. Uh, and only, like, occasionally doing that if the situation was this dire. But, uh, because they're not, I think that, personally... Odin and Fenris, and probably many of the other gods, are scared. They're scared of the Forsaken, not necessarily individually, but maybe, like, grouped up. Like, if the gods were more direct in their influence, the Forsaken would have this obvious common enemy, and they'd band together, and that could be a huge problem for them. And they don't want any of that smoke. They don't want any of it. They don't want this... Avengers Endgame style team up of Forsaken army to just roll over them like a tide of immense tsunami. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, yeah, they've uh, they've instead opted to uh, send send us here, which is which is nice, and we're kind of laying low, very gradually gaining up power. Taking over the land, settling, taking out the Forsaken one by one, weakest to strongest, until the Forsaken, who have greatly underestimated us in their piddly invasions and raids, which we can deal with with our nice base structures and proper building. Well, it's too late for them. We take them all out one by one, at least up to number five for now. Yagalith. And they are mad. They're so mad. When their boss heads talk to us, oh, they are not happy about that. They are not, not happy that, uh, that by proxy, uh, the gods have sort of, uh, from a distance, put down some chess pieces onto the board and out 
outsmarted them, gave them a little outfoxing. And, uh, well, even with all of this, I think the dire strain of the possibility of natural and unnatural disasters affecting all of the other realms, you would think they would still be more involved than they actually are. And because of this, I think that maybe in future biomes, we will have them be more urgent, more interactive. Maybe things go wrong in the other realms, and they're here to have a nice little chat. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see if uh, maybe if Odin returns after we've killed all, the, all of the Forsaken, maybe Fenris will come back too. Maybe we'll have that super boss.